All right, taking a live look outside, actually at the zoo. I know there's so many people there working really hard yeah. to make sure they can get back. Bring Vineyard home. <laughs> Absolutely, bring Vineyard home, and it's a beautiful day to come home. Let me tell you, time right now, 518. We have Chief Meteorologist Ashley Brown here. Oh, yeah. Mm. And, of course, that rain is kind of mm -hmm. making its way in slowly. Yeah, um, slowly and drying out as it moves in. Mm. Uh, I do think we'll get some rain. It's not enough to fix our situation. Right. And right. our situa situation is a deficit that's about four to five inches at this point. So, Sheesh. Uh, we got a lot of rain to make up. Um, now, this is a new issue. This is the drought monitor. The drop monitor showing much of the state abnormally dry, now a large portion of the state under moderately dry. Now, areas north, uh, I'm talking north of that Kokomo Muncie line, you're still in the drop monitor, but here's the thing drop monitors, the data from it is actually taken on a Tuesday and it's issued on a Thursday. So I believe the next drop monitor that comes out will have that rainfall that you had on Monday and Tuesday kind of uh, added up in here. We'll kind of drop some of these counties off to the north. And I think we'll actually drop some of the counties to the south as well from that moderate drought. Now, we're seeing improvement in some locations. We're not seeing enough improvement here because that deficit is so large. Let's talk about how dry it is at the moment. So, lack of rainfall. That's where we are right now. It's hot, it's humid, and it's dry. Uh, the last time we had a tenth of an inch of rain, uh, 24 days ago. Uh, that was 24 days ago before we added a tenth of an inch of rain. But I was thinking, let's look back. When was the last time we had a half an inch of rain or more? That was 41 days ago. Then I start thinking, well, when's the last time we had over an inch of rain, considering that we have a deficit at several inches? That would have been April 13th. So rainfall has become a problem for us. The problem is that we need it. Rain moving in, finally, some rain coming your way. This is not enough rain to fix that brown grass, but it's enough rain to help. Rain falling right now from Crawfordsville down into Greencastle. You'll notice that if you look at the system when it was across the state line, it was strong, heavier downpours there, some pretty good rain. And as it slowly moves into the metro area, it starts to dry out, no longer seeing the reds and oranges. It's just green, which means it's light to moderate rain. Now, as we zoom in just a little bit closer, that rain now entering the 465 loop. Indianapolis Motor Speedway getting in on some rain right now. That rain soon stretching into downtown Indy. Rain pretty heavy for areas south of Plainfield, expanding out. There's not a lot behind this system. So once it rolls through, that's it. Done with rain for the night. Right now looking live downtown at Mindumid Circle. 85 degrees. Feels like 90. We have some cloud cover out there. They really stopped our temperatures from getting to 90 today. So far, the warmest temperature was about 86 to 87. Falling short, but feeling like the 90s there. Um, as we go hour by hour, here's a system that's sitting over us right now, 630. Once we get to 8 o'clock, that system shifting down to Columbus, to Madison, Indiana, and pushing out of the area. We're cloudy tonight. And we'll bring in a better chance of rain coming our way tomorrow. So tonight, adding a bit to the rainfall totals for the metro area. Tomorrow, adding rain and thunderstorms. There is a risk for strong and severe storms here. Indy and areas south seeing the best threat. Now, the question becomes, after all of the rain that we had today, will this atmosphere be worked over? Which means that the severe component, not really possible. That's something that we're going to monitor over the next 24 hours. But for now, I'm tracking showers and thunderstorms over the area. I mean, look at this. The cold front bringing impressive rain our way tomorrow. This system will be on and off throughout the day with the steadiest rain in the afternoon hours drying out as we head into the weekend. So tomorrow, temperatures warming to the 80s, not as warm. Peterman Brothers heating and cooling forecast. Improvement comes our way this weekend as we dry out, bring you lower humidity and much more comfortable conditions. Sentence handed down. How long for